We're very excited here in Williamsburg to be bringing radio surgery capabilities to the community. It's a program we've had for 15 years down in Newport News in partnership with the uh, University of Virginia. Now we're gonna be able to build on all that experience and bring those capabilities up to Williamsburg with a brand new Varian Edge machine. This is important for really a couple reasons. One is a lot of our patients are sick and they have a lot of issues going on. And so being able to shorten their treatment times, which radio surgery allows, and to shorten travel time, these are both very important to our patients and, and we're gonna be able to do that now. This machine it adds radio surgery to our capabilities, but it doesn't take away anything. We still have every tool available from standard 3D conformal treatments to intensity modulated treatments to arc therapy. And now we're adding radio surgery and we're, for each and every patient, we're allowed and can now pick what's best for their particular situation, you know, offering the highest cure rates and minimizing side effects. What radio surgery is, is it combines the ability to deliver large amounts of radiation in a very short period of time to very small targets, which then gives you accuracy down to the millimeter, which then gets patients done quicker and prevents or tries to eliminate side effects. Each treatment is individual to that patient and that patient's anatomy. We start with a 3D scan, we capture their virtual anatomy, and then we develop a plan with our team that's used once and only once for that patient. And it's designed to be as safe and effective for that specific tumor. And we're able to verify that it's being done correctly every day on every patient. So the treatment planning process, we have either 3D or 4D scans. 4D scans can be used if the target itself is moving. So for instance, if you have a tumor in the lung and a patient's breathing, it can actually move while you're taking your pictures. And you have to be able to account for that when you're treating them. So we're able to scan that in four dimensions, basically account for their breathing and then monitor their breathing while they're being treated to make sure we're, again, treating to as small a target as possible, but making sure we're hitting what we need to hit. So CRADS, it gives us the ability from simulation where the CRADS is present to the treatment room where it follows the patient to make sure that patient's in the exact same position all throughout treatment, even accounting for breathing or subtle motions. And if there are any motions outside what's acceptable, the machine stops. It detects it instantly and for patient safety, it stops and as soon as the patient is back into the correct position, the treatment resumes. And so the patient is self-monitoring this. And over time, they learn when it's green, they're getting a treatment. When it's red, they're not, and they learn. And as they progress through a treatment, they become better at controlling their breathing such that uh, the treatment times decrease. The stereotactic is a, a procedure well proven at multiple sites. The big areas where we look to incorporate it right away is for prostate cancer, for lung cancer, um, for pancreatic cancer. It has a lot of uses for retreatments. If, if a patient's already received radiation treatment, they're not a candidate for standard radiation treatment, but they are a candidate for retreatment on a radiosurgery machine. All of those now are patients we don't have to send out of the area. They can be safely treated in Williamsburg.